Hi, this is my first class, so it's for mainly for beginners and anyone who's never tried yoga before. So we're just going to come to a comfortable cross like a seated position, which is known as Sukhasana. You just want to allow your hips and your knees to just gently press down towards the earth. And then the sides of your feet and just connected towards the mat, the floor, wherever you are. Maybe just shuffling back a little bit, maybe using your hands, just to make sure that your sit bones are nice and grounded towards the earth. And then at the same time, hips just rising up. If this is still a little bit uncomfortable in your knees and your hips, you can use, for example, um, a cushion, or if you have a yoga block or a blanket or a towel, anything will work. We just want to build some height at the backs of your body. So you just, this, uh, your, with your sit bones, you just come to sit at the tops of your new height. And just rises the hips towards the ceiling and it just allows the thighs and the knees to just roll out and down towards the earth. And then you may feel like it's a little bit easier for you. So now we have the bottom of our body grounded towards the earth. We're just going to do the opposite with the spine, the torso, the crowns of the head. We just want to build that nice lifting through the tops of our body. So bringing the navel, the belly button in towards the spine, just engaging the muscles around your core. At the same time, you want there to be a nice long line in the spine, in the backs of your body. And then the crown of the head just reaching towards the ceiling. It should be a nice straight long line running down the hips, the shoulders, and the backs of the head. Really good. Next, inhale. I just want you to roll the shoulders back and down the spine. Just building that integrity through the length of the torso and the spine. Okay, and once you're here, just placing the palms just down on the knees, or if you want, you can come into Jian Mudra, just placing your thumb and your index finger lightly together and just turning the palms to face the ceiling and pressing gently on the knees. And then when you're here, just remembering to be nice and tall in the body. I'm just going to start to close your eyes. I just wanting you to bring your awareness inwards, just bringing it to your breath. Just going to start to notice how your breath is feeling, where it lies in your body. Too little we take this time just to check in with your mind, your physical body. And just noticing how you feel and allowing yourself to feel these emotions. And always use this time, your practice is for you. To build that knowledge of yourself Bridge that connection between your mind and your body. Next, inhale whilst rolling your shoulders back and down. I want you to rise through the belly, fill the lungs, and rise the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, we're going to exhale using the mouth. We're just sighing all that tension, all that negativity away. Again, inhale, shoulders back and down, extending the body. And then exhale, opening the mouth and just sighing the air away. Just always. Be nice and relaxed in the body. Even through some of the hard asanas you might do today. 
Just always bringing yourself back to how you are feeling your mind. And when you're ready, you're just gently opening the eyes. I'm going to bring palms into the heart centre, Angela Nidra. Just pressing those palms nice and firmly, but softly into one another. And then the two thumbs just coming into the sternum. Again, inhale, rolling the shoulders back and down. I want you to rise the arms towards the ceiling overhead. And then gaze just to follow your arms. And then open the palms. Exhale, palms together. Just guiding them back down to the heart centre. Again, inhale, rise the arms. Exhale. Last time, inhale, rise the arms. And then exhale, bending at the elbows, just bringing the palms back down to your heart centre. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to try something new this time. So as we inhale, we're going to draw the palms to the sides of our body, just scarecrowing our, our arms. And then as we exhale, palms rise above the head, and then they reach back together. Inhale, to the side. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale completely. And then exhale, palms back to the heart centre. We're going to start just warming up our wrists, so just extending the arms out long in front of you now. One nice straight line. Just going to start to rotate the palms inwards at the wrists. Just taking it nice and slow. And then rotating the other way. Just maybe starting to notice any cracks in the palms. I'm going to turn the palms to face away from us. And then exhale, face down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down again, trying to keep nice and elongated in the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last round, rising the arms nice and straight. I'm going to um, expand the fingers away like a star. And then bring the thumbs on the inside as we clasp fingers together in the palms. And extend on the inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to do a few faster rounds. Every time firm on the inside of the fingers. Exhale, palms together and come all the way back down. Release the palms to the knees, close the eyes, shoulders back and down. And then just noticing the sensation run down the length of your arm. Let's inhale, opening the eyes. Pressing the right hand to the mat. Inhale, left arm rises over the tops of the ear. We're just keeping Nice and elongated in the sides of your body. And try not to reach forward. And just taking a few breaths here, bending at the elbow. And 
Nice, exhale, left arm just draws a little half circle out in front of you. This time, left palm pressing down to the mat. Inhale, right arm draws over the tops of your ears, over the tops of your head. I'm just going to extend it to the opposite side of the room, bending a little bit at the elbow. And then now just trying to not lose the breath. Inhale deeply. Next, exhale, drawing that half circle. Inhale, rise both arms this time. Interlocking the fingers, just placing them behind your head. We're going to bring the elbows in together and then chin towards the chest. And just noticing if there's a little stretch in the tops of your spine. Inhale deeply. And then as we exhale, we're going to roll through the spine, bring the elbows even closer together. And chin towards the chest. A few deep breaths in. Next inhale, gaze comes all the way back up. And we're gonna to come to find ourselves in kneeling. So this might be a little bit painful on your knees. If it is, again, with the pillow, probably better if it's something a little lower like a blanket or double mat. We're gonna extend the left leg to the side of the room. So here, if it's painful on the knee, you're just gonna bring the blanket underneath. We're going to drop the right hand to the mat, inhale, left arm draws over the top to the ear once more. We're going to extend that left arm and that left foot away from each other as long as they will reach. And then maybe just starting to open out the fronts of the hip, the sides of the hip. A little bit more. Again, inhale, really filling the length of your body. And just feeling the ribs rise at the same time keeping that belly but the navel tucked right in towards the spine try not to extend through the belly last couple of breaths and then exhale just bring both your palms out in front of you i want you to um, turn the right foot inwards and then just come to sit down. Aim is to try and have the left leg facing towards the side of the room a little bit. But wherever you are, you want both your sit bones nice and grounded towards the mat. Don't worry, it can be a little bit painful in the hip or a little bit jarring, if that's so. Just bring that leg a little bit closer towards you. Just until both those sit bones are nice and grounded, just as we were in Sukhasana. We're going to take a little side stretch once more, so placing the left hand just on the inside of the left leg. Inhale, right arm draws over the tops of your ear. And just keeping it nice and tall, no need to reach too far down. You already want to keep that stretch located in the side of your body. Try not to start to bring the stretch into the back. Just want to nurture the body. Just keep it nice and peaceful. Maybe closing your eyes. Again, every exhale, maybe you're starting to notice you can reach a little bit deeper and the tension just starts to fade a little bit more. Next, exhale. We're just going to walk your fingertips out in front of you. I just want you to hold it here for a few moments. We're just going to allow the spine to re-neutralise. Just avoiding pulling up too snappy. We just don't want to Hit the, the sides of the body. Inhale, fingertips back towards the mat. Going to come back to kneeling. 
This time, if you need the pillow, just placing the pillow or the blanket just underneath the left knee this time as we extend the right foot to the sides of the room. Then placing the left hand on the mat, inhale, right arm draws over the tops of the right ear. And really extending the right limbs away from each other to opposite sides of the room. And then it's just a perfect opportunity to have nice, long, deep breaths. With every breath, just filling the whole of the belly, the ribs. And just allow your body to really open up and stretch. Exhale. Just walking those fingertips out in front of you. This time, left foot comes inwards as we slide the right foot away. Just coming so both the sit bones are grounded. You want the hips facing towards the front of the room. Again, if you feel like your right sit bone is slightly lifted, you're just going to bring that right leg slightly inwards until you notice those hip bones just nicely placed on the mat. I'm gonna bring the right arm just on the inside of the right leg, flexing that right foot. As we inhale, just bring the left arm over the tops of the ear. You can keep it nice and tall. And then as you exhale, just really trying to rotate the body to the sides of the room at the same time, lifting that arm over the tops of the head. And also noticing your knee and your hip, trying to ground them as much as feels comfortable for you. You can also come to bring the pillow just underneath the knee. If you find that knee's a little bit raised, just bringing that pillow underneath just helps to support your knee, your hip. With every exhale, again, just noticing if your body allows you to melt a little bit deeper. And then as we exhale, bringing those fingertips out in front of you once more. Just a few moments here. We're gonna lift yourself back to the mat. We're gonna rock and bring the knees all the way back. Coming into tabletop, we want the knees to be directly below the hips. Then the shoulders, elbows, arm, wrist should be in one straight line, index fingers facing forward, the fronts of the mat. And then palms to be really pressing in towards the mat, navel in towards the spine. And then a nice long line in the back of the body. Try not to rise the head too much. You're just noticing the neck and the backs of the head are just an extension of the spine. We're going to do a few rounds of cat cow. So if you've never done cat cow before, as we come into cow, which is always on the inhale, you just start to allow the belly and the navel to roll down towards the earth. You roll the shoulders back and down, and then chest rises, shoulders back, and then the head slightly lifted. And just noticing that roll in the backs of the body. You want the um, sit bones raised slightly up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, we push the man away. We roll the spine towards the ceiling, navel in towards the spine. And then shoulder braids press up. And the crown of the head, just gently bowing towards the earth. And then we're gonna come meet back in tabletop. We're gonna take a few rounds of cat cow together. So when you're ready, inhale, shoulders back and down, navel towards the earth. Gently look up. 
Exhale, pushing the mat away. Spine towards the ceiling. And just crown of the head towards the earth. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Bend at the elbows. Then straighten the elbows. Exhale, pushing the floor away. Few more rounds. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Navel towards the mat. Looking it up. Exhale, push the mat away. Lift through the shoulders. Lift through the belly. One last round. Inhale. Really rolling through your spine. Lifting the head. Lifting through the chest. And then exhale, lifting the hips, lifting the shoulders, crown of the head to the mat. Inhale, tabletop, flat back. Then exhale, just bringing your two front toes together, heels together. I'm just going to bring the knees just a little bit wider, maybe nearly as wide as the mat. Then exhale, sending the hips back towards the heels. And then the brow bone, just gently pressing in towards the mat. And just coming to a nice and open child's pose. Maybe your um, arms can extend a little bit more away from you. And then I just want you to bring your attention to your hips and your heels. And then bringing your attention to the spaces between the brows, the palms of the hands. Next, inhale, just looking between the hands and then walking yourself back to your tabletop. We're going to take the first downward dog of the practice. I'm going to talk you through it, so don't worry if you've never tried it before. Firstly, you just want your index fingers facing the fronts of the room. Then the rest of the fingers should be nice and spread, thumbs facing inwards on the mat or the ground. And then we're going to tuck the toes. And then as we inhale, pushing the mat away, keeping the elbows nice and straight, try to rotate the arms inwards. So instead of being bent at the elbows and allowing them to splay, just straightening the elbows, then turning inwards. And then just be making sure there's a nice long line in the spine. Again, navel always nice and tightly into the spine. As we inhale, just lifting through the knees. Push the mat away. Just get used to this feeling. Exhale, release. Do a couple more rounds of this. Inhale, push the mat away, lift through the knees. Exhale, release. One last time. Pushing the mat away with the palms. As you inhale, lift through the knees. Also pushing the shoulder, shoulder blades towards the ceiling. Lifting the belly in towards the spine. Exhale, release. Then um, roll over onto the tops of your feet. Bring the knees together. Extend the arms out once more. And sink the hips back to the heel. Back into a child's pose. This time the, the legs should be closed. Again, just the spaces between the brows. Just gently pressing down on the mats. Just bringing some calmness. And clarity in talk to your mind. Next, inhale, looking forward between the hands. This time, we're going to come actually try our downward facing dog. So, tucking the toes. Again, index fingers facing the front of the room. Inhale, push the mat away, lift the navel in towards the spine. And then lift the knees. 
As we exhale, keeping the elbows nice and straight, pushing the mat away, we're going to lift the sit bones and lift the hips towards the ceiling. And then try to press the heels down towards the mat. Try to straighten the legs as much as you can. And then looking through your arms towards the feet. Bringing the navel up towards the spine, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. I'm just going to start to walk the dog. So maybe bending in at the left foot, coming onto the toes, and then pressing the right heel away. And then the same, lifting through the right foot, pressing the left heel towards the mat. And just taking this as slow or as fast as you wish. And just getting used to this feeling. Pressing through the palms. Again, trying to rotate those arms inwards. A few more rounds of this. Maybe bringing some hip movement in. Then exhale, trying to sink both the heels once more. Trying to really engage the thighs and turn them inwards. Then exhale, relax the knees back down, tops of the feet back towards the mat. And I'm going to sink the weight back to your child's pose. This time, arms wrap around you, just touching the arcs, arches of your feet. And then I just want you to tune in to your heartbeat. Just noticing as your heart pumps, the blood around your body pumps the oxygen. Mm -hmm. And just be thankful for the breath. Next inhale, looking between the hands, bringing your palms back in front of you. Lifting to tabletop, tucking the toes, lifting the knees, lifting the hips and the sit bones towards the ceiling and extending the hips and the knees away from the mat. And looking through the arms back into your downward facing dog. Again, you could bend at the knees if, if you wish. Inhale, look between the hands. We're going to bring the right foot and place it between your hands. And press the left knee down towards the mat. Come on to the tops of your back foot. We're just coming in to a lunge. What I want you to do is try and scissor your legs to try to bring some tension between your two thighs. And then release your left leg a little bit longer down towards the mat. Just keeping nice and parallel in the hips. Really good. And just noticing the sensations run down the length of the fronts of your left leg. I'm going to tuck your back toes your left foot as you inhale straightening your back leg i'm going to try and lift through your two front hands into a crescent lunge really activating this front thigh trying to extend your back leg away from you really engage the whole of this leg bring the kneecaps up and then at the same time try not to extend the chest too long out in front of you. Try to be keep that integrity through the length of the spine and the torso. Exhale, release the palms and release your back knee. Front leg comes to meet the back leg. And this time we're going to come into puppy. So we're going to just extend the chest out long. Bring the palms out in front of you. Forehead reach of the mat again. Brow bone on the mat. This time, hips are being sent towards the ceiling, nice and long. Just holding this for a few deep breaths, either staying here or if you want, 
Maybe you want to start sinking your heart in your chest towards the mat and lifting through the hips a little bit more. And just wherever you are, just closing your eyes. Inhale, open the eyes, back to tabletop. Tuck the back toes, inhale, rise the legs, straighten the legs, send the hips high. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the and the hands. This time, left foot between the hands and drop the back knee. Come onto the tops of your back foot. And we're just going to rise the head and sink the back hip, the back thigh closer towards the mat. At the same time, you really want to press this front leg and this back leg into one another. Try not to let them sink too much. Just keeping it nice and parallel. If you want a little more of a stretch, maybe you just want to walk that back foot a little bit away from you or front foot a little bit forward. Next, inhale, tucking the back toe. Lift through the back knee, straight in the backs of your right leg. Inhale, into crescent lunge, rise both your arms. Again, really building that integrity through your torso, through your spine. Nice and long in the backs of your body. Few breaths here. Then exhale, release your back knee, your back foot, palms back to the mat. This time, we're going to turn the back foot back over. As we inhale, leaving the left foot at the tops of your mat, we're going to bring the right foot to the top and just place them together so that your two big toes are touching. Just a little gap between the heels. And then I want you to bend your knees as much as you can so that your belly can lie on your thighs. And we're just going to drop the head. And just the crown of the head reaching towards the mat. So it's a nice long line all the way down the spine to the neck. And then just closing the eyes. Maybe just rocking the hips from side to side. Next, inhale. I just want you to come up onto the fingertips and flat in the back. Just gently look forward. As we exhale, flat in the palms. And we're just going to start to straighten the legs as much as feels comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be at all. You can stay nice and bent. I'm just starting to tilt the weight forward a little bit more. And we want to feel that extension at the hips. So instead of rolling through the spine, rolling through the shoulders, we just want to extend those hips, stacking a whole of the torso, the spine, over the legs. Inhale, bend the knees deeply. We're going to bring the right foot to the back of the mat. Then lifting through the left foot, placing it next to the right. This is our plank pose now. So in plank again, we want the shoulders, the elbows and the wrists to be in one straight line. And then we're going to bring the belly in towards the spine, lifting through the shoulder blades, lifting through the belly, lifting through the knees and the thighs and the glutes. And then the head should just, the act, the gaze should be just in front of your two front hands. Just so the back of the head can be that extension of your spine. Just a few more breaths here. And then exhale, dropping the knees and dropping the chest dropping the chin to the mat just so there's a little curve in the back of your body keeping those elbows in towards the ribs as we inhale we're going to relax those legs out long and roll through the spine through 
your two front arms. Inhale, rolling the shoulders back and down and lifting the body gently into a cobra. So the tendency in cobra is to try and straighten those arms and look up towards the ceiling. And then over time, this is just gonna cause a lot of pain running through the length of the spine. And you're gonna crush the neck. In cobra, we wanna keep it nice and low, bending at the elbows, elbows in towards the ribs. And then gaze should just be gently forward. Really engage the glutes. Exhale, relax, back to tabletop. Send the hips back, tuck the toes, and lift into a downward facing dog once more. Maybe walking your dog. And then inhale, looking between the hands. We're gonna just gently walk them forward. And then once they reach the front, just gonna come and lightly sit on the mat. Extending the legs out long, flexing at the feet. I'm going to come into a forward fold or Pachimottanasana. So rolling the shoulders back and down, really flexing those feet. And then as we exhale, we're just going to start to walk the fingertips just on either side of the legs. And extending the torso over the length of the legs. And gaze just slightly over the feet. And just gently allowing the tops of your body to melt a little bit deeper. One thing I don't want you to do is reach for those feet. Once you start reaching for those feet, you're gonna start to build that curvature in the backs of your body. It's not what we want. We wanna keep it nice and long really extensive at the hips, stacking the body. Don't worry if you're still this tall, it's completely perfect. Wherever you are, just building that integrity, keeping it completely through the length of your body. Belly button in towards the spine. Try not to let everything just flop. And then wherever you are, I'm just closing your eyes. I'm just noticing where the tension is lying in your body. And then remembering there's no judgment, no ego. And once this is removed, it's gonna allow you to dive deeper into your practice. With every exhale, and just sinking and stacking your torso a little bit more over the length of your legs. Next inhale, looking just in front of your feet. Gonna walk the fingertips all the way back up. And then we're gonna start to sink straight down to a lying posture. And just bringing the left knee in towards the chest. I'm just gonna rotate the left ankle inwards nice and slowly a few times. And then we're gonna bring the left knee into the left hand and again we're going to this time rotate the hips in which you can keep the right hand just by the right hip to keep that nice and grounded we're just gently rotating the left hip outwards next exhale just pulling that knee a little bit closer and then as you inhale, lifting through the shoulders and lifting through the head, we're gonna bring the nose to the knee. Exhale, release. And relaxing that leg out long, this time, right knee towards the chest. I'm just gonna rotate that right foot inwards a little bit. Or outwards, shall I say. 
this time bringing the right um, knee into the right hand, left hand can be just on the left hip to keep it nice and grounded. We're just going to start rotating that hip outwards towards the side of the room. And then bring that knee back to the center, interlocking the fingers as we inhale, lifting the shoulders and lifting the head, nose to touch the knee. Exhale, relax. Then relax that leg out long. Next, inhale, bringing the feet together, rise the legs and then bend to get the knees, interlocking the hands this time. Both knees in towards the chest as you inhale, lifting the shoulders, lifting the head. And we're really going to make a little ball with the whole of your body. Exhale, just relax the shoulders, relax the head. And I'm going to extend the arms out to the sides of the room. Well, if you have space, <laughs> I'm going to extend my left arm and then cactus my right arm. I'm going to start with a twist towards the left side of the room. So bringing both your knees to the left side of the room. And then maybe you can place them on the floor. Wherever you are, try to keep those knees stacked. At the same time, right shoulder should be um, nice and glued on the mat or the floor. And you're just going to look over the right arm. Or gaze can be closed. Every inhale, really filling the body. And then as you exhale, just maybe going a little bit deeper into the twist, really bringing out the ribs. Next, inhale, head back to the center. Reach the left arm out long and then rise the knees back to the center. This time, knees come into the right hand. The left arm extends to the side of the room. Try to keep the left shoulder really glued on the mat. Then we're going to bring the knees to the right. Again, try to keep those knees as stacked and as parallel as you can. And then gaze just over the left arm or your eyes can be closed. Next, inhale, first the head, and relax the arm out to the side, then lift the knees back to the center. We're going to give the knees one last hug before our shavasana. We're going to hug them close towards the chest, rise through the head. Exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the head. And we're going to bring the palms to face the ceiling beside us. And then first extending the feet to the ceiling. I'm going to slowly lower the legs down towards the mat. And then once you're here, just allowing the legs to splay to either sides of the mat. Just allowing the shoulder blades to be pressed nice and equally on the ground. Fingertips facing towards the ceiling. And just going to relax the whole of your body. Relaxing your feet and your legs. Relaxing the hips. Relaxing the belly. Relaxing the ribs and the chest. Relaxing the arms, the hands. Relaxing the chin. Relaxing the jaw. Allowing your tongue to rest on the roof of your mouth. Relaxing 
the spaces between your brow. Allow your mind to become calm and clear. Gonna start to gently awaken your body. Just keeping your eyes closed, starting to notice the mat beneath you, and your clothes against your body. Maybe wiggling your fingers and toes, shrugging your shoulders in your own time. You're gonna come to lie on the right hand side of your body. Just turning the knees to the right, keeping the eyes closed. And then maybe bringing your right arm under your head, just like a pillow. Just taking a few moments to nurture your body. Again, in your own time. We're just going to come to find a seat on the mat. It's just like at the start of class in Sukhasana. Just allowing the hips to melt towards the earth. Bringing the palms to the heart center. And delay mudra. And gently opening the eyes. As we inhale, draw the arms above the head. Exhale, bend to one side. Inhale, center. And then exhale, bend to the opposite side. Inhale, center. And then exhale, relaxing the palms back to the heart center. 